Hello everybody. So today I have a video for creating a NFS data store on vCenter 6.5 when you're using FreeNAS. And currently I'm using FreeNAS 11.2. Uh, the same procedure or principle should apply to other vCenter and FreeNAS versions. It's just the GUI might appear a little different or the placement of the options may be in different spots. So I'm doing this video because I'd followed a couple other guides when trying to do this myself and basically any guide I followed did not produce what I wanted to. I was not able to either migrate or create VMs on the NFS data store. I'd get permissions issues and all sorts of stuff. So um, here's what I did to get it working, <clears throat> and I hope it works for you. So first thing you want to do is point to the IP address or fully qualified domain name of your FreeNAS in a web browser, and then click on the Services tab here. Uh, you'll want to make sure that the NFS slider is set to running, and then check the Start Automatically box. This next step you don't need to do, but I'm just going to show you um, that you can see your disks from the Storage Disks window, and here's the disk that I will be adding as a NFS data store. So I currently have these two here working and running, and have had no issues so far. So from here you'll click on Pools, and then select Add. Create new pool should be selected by default, and then click on the create pool box. At the top here we can give our pool a name, so I'm just going to call it test, and then check the disks that you want to add to the pool, and then select the right arrow here, and you should see it move over. Once you've done that, you can click create, check the confirm box, and create pool. So depending on the size of your disks, this could take a while, but uh, since this is only a small disk, it shouldn't take too long. All right, now we see the storage pool here to show you the health and the size. So from here, we can minimize storage, go to sharing, select Unix NFS shares, and select add. Up here, specify a path, so I'm doing forward slash mnt forward slash test. And I'm going to check the all directories box. Uh, basically, this makes it so any directory under this mount point uh, should be mountable through NFS. Select the advanced mode tab, and I'm going to authorize my network. So for me, that's 192.168.25.0 forward slash 24. So of course, you'll need to do the same thing for your network or networks that you want to have authorized access to the NFS data store. So from here, you can select the map, yeah, map root user. And I'm going to specify root. And then the map root group I'm going to put as no group. So before I did this, I was not able to migrate VMs to the data stores or create new VMs on those data stores. So once I did this, that worked. So uh, that that's why I'm doing that. Once you have something like this, you can click save. And now we see the new NFS export path. So once you've done that, you are basically done in FreeNAS and you can go over to your vCenter. So again, specify the fully qualified domain name or IP address of your vCenter server in the web browser, and then log in with administrator credentials. So I use just the administrator at vSphere.local. Uh, once you're in there, select the storage tab in the navigator bar, and then select the vCenter and expand down uh, to your data center. So once you're in your data center, you can click on the data stores tab, and then select create new data store. I only have the one data center, so I'm just going to click Next, select NFS, and click Next. Just going to leave default here. And um, you can name it whatever you want. So I have data stores 1 and 2. I'm going to call mine data store 3. And here you can specify the path. So for me, forward slash MNT, forward slash test. And then the server, specify the IP address or the fully qualified domain name of your. Uh, FreeNAS, so for me that's this, and as you can see, mount NFS as read-only is not checked. Click Next. 
select the host that you want to have access the NFS data store. So for me, I want the whole cluster that I have and click finish. Should receive a notice down here saying that the data store has been completed successfully. And uh, just to test, I have a running VM that I'm going to migrate over to that data store. So I'm just changing the storage only. You can stay using the same ESXi host. <clears throat> and it might take a couple minutes to migrate. Okay, so as you can see in the data stores tab here, it was moved to the data store we just created. And sometimes this happens, but the VM didn't go down. All right. So as you can see, the VM didn't go down, and you should also be able to power off and power on the VM without getting any permissions issues. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching.